This is a video I've been wanting to do for such a long time. Maui the flower horn. It's this right here. Boy, the fader flower horn. My favorite skate that I've ever done. One, two, three. And look at that, you just shovel it out. So now I bet you guys are wondering, what is it? Two different types. Mark, We're I know hallelujah a Maui. Hello, baker, pay my Hello, hello. Ha, my ohana, it is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice warm aloha. But not only that, though, be a part of the ohana. In order to do that, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That's just going to notify you when I put out a new video. Oh, on a side note, too, those of you who've been asking me about how the goldfish are doing in Isabel's pond, you know, the waterfall spillway, the DIY that I brought her pond back to life. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and leave a card up above. Click on that card. Go check that video out. It has a great story behind it. All of our fish are healthy. They're doing great. Great. they're eating so uh, it's just a happy ending to a story that you know started out kind of tragic and it was just nice to uh, spread that aloha spirit to somebody through fish keeping now this has been a oh, sorry about that I was really loud now this is a video I've been wanting to do for such a long time I just been waiting for the perfect opportunity to do this video and guess what today's the day now when I saw this guy do this video I mean we're talking years ago like way back I was like yo I am gonna someday do that. It was so, I thought it was like the most fascinating thing ever. So, with that being said, I had to go deep, 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 like way back into this guy's video files. I'm talking like way back like Similac. Uh, let me show you who it is. Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. That's right, you guessed it, none other than Rahu Joey, JM, Brada J, J Mull, Joey Mull, Joey Mullen. I mean, the guy has endless names, but I think most of us know him as the king, ladies and gentlemen, the king. That's right, guys, the king of DIY, Joey Mullen. Thanks, brother Joey, for the inspiration to do this video. So now I bet you guys are wondering, what is it? What did Joey teach him? What did Joey show him? What did he see that was such a long time ago that Joey did? Now, let me show you what I learned how to build from Joey. It's this right here, look at it. It's a piece of PVC pipe, a 90 degree elbow, some airline tubing, and down in that little pipe there, you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but it is an air stone. Yeah, that's it. All these items and you're gonna build something so dope. I'm telling you guys, man, when I first saw this, I was like, what in the world? I'm gonna do that one day. So let's go into the house and I'll explain a little bit more in detail on what we're gonna do. See you in there. Boom, so we are in the room where my super red dragon, Maui the flower horn, and Lamon the lemon Oscar, along with Robert Van Winkle, my turquoise Severum. It's also home to Boy the fader flower horn, and Cindy Crawford, my Salvini cichlid. She's right there. But not only that though, it's home to this tank that's right behind me. Yes, this tank is completely empty and it used to be home to my Red Tiger Motoquins who is now in the Predator tank out front. So there's something that I always wanted to do to this tank but it was just always to be occupied by something in there. Now we're gonna be able to add the fish that I really wanted to do it. But not only that though, we're gonna do a unique skate and I'm so excited. My vision, I you know, for this skate, I need some more black lava rock. So as you can see, I only have one, two, three black lava rock in this tank so i need to get more so before we do this scape we need to run a petco because petco is the only place that has this in my area so it's really quick it's down the street fast trip in and out no driving the car montage anything like that no music see you guys there in a second let's go guys in and out i'll take this and this and this let's get out of here I told you guys, it's a real simple build, all right? We got a PVC pipe, this is three quarter inch, and this is the bottom. We're gonna have this at the bottom of the tank, and this is the top. Now you wanna measure it to where you want this, not at the very, very top, but you wanna give room because you have a 90 degree elbow that you're gonna use too as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take the elbow and put it on the top here of the PVC pipe, make sure it's down in there nice and tight. You don't need any glue, um, PVC glues or cements for this. You're gonna drill a hole now at the top of this elbow. See the elbow, see where I drilled the hole at? You're gonna drill it just big enough for a um, airline hose to fit through, okay? So you got your airline hose like so that you're going to throw down right here. You can see it's kind of a snug fit. Yeah. You just work it in 
and that bad boy will go all the way down so let me just take this off and we're gonna push it in push it in push it real good, push it good. Push it. there you go we're gonna pull this out and we want this airline hose to go down to the bottom now if you notice at the very bottom I cut this notch out you want to cut a notch out at the very bottom of your PVC pipe because this is going to sit down at the very bottom of your tank and this is where the sand is going to go up through this PVC pipe so you want to cut a little notch out of the bottom of your PVC pipe see that little notch okay pull that through and let's put on our air stone at the end of this. So now we're gonna attach our air stone to the bottom of this airline hose. There we go, get that on nice and tight, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna pull this excess. Now, make sure your notch is at the same direction as your 90 degree elbow. And that looks dead center. Mm. I'm going to push that down as hard as I can and lock it into place. So now we're going to take this in and we're going to pull slowly until the airline hose and stone, the air stone, is just even with the PVC pipe. Just like that. You see that? Perfect. And the end of this air hose here, we're going to attach to an air pump. So let's go. All right, so before I rescape this tank, I wanted to just do a quick video of what it looks like. I was just getting ready to remove this substrate out of the tank, and I just realized, you know what, let me just do a quick video on this. For those of you that don't know how to get substrate out of a tank or an easier way, I'm gonna show you right here, this dustpan. At the dollar store, $1. Just dedicate a dustpan to just aquariums only. Like this here, I use just for my aquariums, nothing else. And so you just stick it in off the top here, you're gonna put it in and you're gonna use this dustpan to just scoop all this substrate out look at this it's probably almost the same width and look at that you just shovel it out and you just stick it right in your bag or a bucket or wherever you're gonna use okay just wanted to show you guys this trick and just like that guys it is all gone Okay, now that we got rid of that substrate in the tank, I'm gonna show you what two different substrates we're gonna use, two different types. We're gonna use like a fine crushed coral substrate, nature's ocean marine substrate, and then we're gonna use the good old Eco Complete African Cichlid Black Substrate. So we're gonna give this bag of substrate here a quick rinse. We're not gonna rinse the African Cichlid Eco Complete Substrate because it has beneficial bacteria mixed in with the substrate. I love this stuff. Plus it comes with a free uh, clarifier in, inside. So it's like a little packet you pour in with the substrate. Helps clear the water out when you actually uh, put the substrate into the water. So let's go ahead and uh, clean some substrate. I believe this is Vigoro, Vigoro. It's a no dig edging. It's the type of edging that they use for landscaping, for planters and whatnot, planter boxes. This stuff here works excellent. If you guys wanna put in two substrates, you just pull this off. I believe this was like $15 for 20 feet. Home Depot works excellent in uh, aquascaping if you're gonna use two different types of substrates. I just grab a piece of this and I cut what I'm going to use and I'm gonna show you exactly what I, uh, how I did it. And um, that's pretty much it. You can flex it, it's uh, fish safe bendable look at that you can bend it this way that way however you want to do and majority of my tanks that i have two substrates this is what i use to kind of separate everything so i'm going to show you exactly what i did with this you see i cut the piece that i needed i kind of measured it out and then i also put a zip tie i drilled two holes one hole there and one hole there and ran the zip tie through it because i didn't want to have it close i wanted this space because it's going to fit right in that corner just like that in the corner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our white, or I should say our crushed coral substrate right here in this little circle. And you're gonna see the reason why. So we're gonna actually set this right in there. And then the rest of this is gonna be all black substrate. Well, let's go ahead and grab some of that black substrate right now while the uh, white coral substrate is being rinsed. <laughs> 
Okay guys, super fast. We're gonna go ahead and take our little contraption and we're gonna stick it down in the corner, okay? There you go, that should be perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay down the rest of the substrate. All right, guys, so this is what we got going on so far. We got two plants from Elite Cichlids. These are actually really smaller plants that they sent to me. So big shout out to uh, the boys over at Elite Cichlids. I'll put their link down in the description below. I'm telling you guys, the best artificial plants on the market, guys. Go check them out, Elite Cichlids. So I'm super glad. I've been holding on to these plants for a while, but now we get to use them for this scape. So look at that black sand into the white sand, which it's not gonna mix because we have that little um, landscaping divider up in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set some of these lava rocks. I have the uh, lava rocks in aquarium water. Now three of those rocks have just a ton of beneficial bacteria on it, so I didn't want to lose that. So they're sitting in here, they've been sitting in here for hours. So we're gonna go ahead and start stacking lava rocks around this and up this PVC pipe, I should say, to cover it, mask it, and then we're gonna cover up that uh, 90 degree elbow. Um, this is where the sand is gonna be shooting out over the black lava rock, causing that underwater waterfall effect. So uh, let's see, I'm not gonna go time lapse. I'll see you guys in three, two, one. Oh, guys, check it out. You are not going to believe how this scape came out. This scape came out phenomenal. By far, my favorite scape that I've ever done. It is insane. I know you guys are probably looking in the back like, what does it look like? What does it look like? I'm just filled with excitement. Like, if I was Fire Marshal Bill, this is what I would say. Let me show you something. Well, like he said, let me show you something. Without further ado, here we go. Hit the B-roll. All right, so let's get into the technical side of this build, all right? Right off the bat, I'm gonna be honest with you and let you guys know that it took me forever to come up with this formation on these lava rocks. I kept breaking it down, putting it up, uh, starting the waterfall sand, and it, it, was just, it wasn't it was going the right way, and, and then rebuilding it, because none of this is siliconed in, it's just all free stacked. So, um, but it came out really good. I love the way I finally found the right way, the right combo, and uh, the trick is, to recycle this sand. See, you can see the sand going down in that hole there and it's sliding to the back where the PVC pipe is and it's just a constant flow. So it's recycling the sand. That's the hardest part is just finding um, the right angles on these rocks. So what I did was I actually put a smaller rock there and a smaller rock there. So I propped this bigger lava rock stone up to where the sand can slide underneath it to the back where the PVC pipe is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you um, the backside, which is the interesting part on how this thing works. Okay, let's swing over here to the backside. So this is the backside of the waterfall. Interesting, right? You cannot even see from the front what it looks like. So here we go. We got the PVC pipe, like I said, down there, you see the, the constant sand coming in and it's sliding, you can actually see the two rocks, one rock here and one rock there. What? And you can see that sand sliding underneath the main lava rock, which is recycling the sand. So down here at the bottom is where our notch is cut out. That's why you gotta cut that notch so that sand can come through and get sucked up. So at the bottom here at the base is our air stone, right? We got the tubing inside the PVC pipe. So the air pump is pumping the bubbles 
out through the air stone and the bubbles are getting pushed up the PVC pipe, which is causing a suction. So that sand is gonna follow the air bubbles and the air bubbles are coming up to the top here of the 90 degree elbow. And you can see the bubbles coming out of the 90 degree elbow. Now we didn't use any type of glue or cement on that PVC pipe and you can see it's airtight, nothing's coming out, no sand. Um, but yeah, that's what's pushing the sand out. So you got air bubbles coming up from the top and then the sand which is being bursted out which I created like a little tunnel through here. So it's getting pushed out and um, yeah, it, it, it turned out really good. So it's pretty neat the way this thing works, you know? And you can see up top here, the airline hose, which leads to the air pump, which is suitable for a 10 gallon tank. So you know the strength. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys understood that. I was trying to make it as easy as possible. Like I said, easy build, follow the steps and you can have an underwater sand waterfall like this here. One of my favorite scapes. I didn't think I was gonna be able to pull it off, but your boy pulled it off. I love it. So when I bought these albino burchardi, like, I don't know, four months ago, I always had a vision of like black lava rock with a white sand waterfall. And then you got, of course, the, the white, like flowy fins of the albino burchardi with the black background, black substrate. I just thought it would look super cool. And then like getting the time in the tank to do it and then visualizing it and executing and then it comes out the way you visualize is just it's crazy right now. I can't believe I did this. I'm, I'm digging out on it. So uh, let me know down below what you guys think. Comment down below. Next up, we're going to try to breed these Burchardi. So that was the whole goal to get these four Burchardi in here. I know I have a dominant male. Definitely, I know I have a female. It's just um, waiting for them to hit that stage uh, when they're ready to breed. So I'll keep you guys updated on future videos on this tank and the albino Burchardi. Other than that, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Happy fish, happy life. We'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.